we know that for a Jedi to survive Order 66 was an extremely rare occurrence. Not only did all of the clone troopers turn on their Jedi comrades in an instant, but also the most naturally powerful Jedi of all time, Anakin Skywalker, also embraced the dark side. Several months ago though, the power of the Inquisitors was brought to the limelight in the Star Wars universe, as they discovered that another Jedi had survived Order 66, but surprisingly an extremely notable Jedi and former Jedi Council member. That Jedi Master was named Eeth Koth. We recently did a video on Eeth Koth and the unique force ability that he displayed over the Clone Wars. What's unique about Eeth Koth is he was on the Jedi Council before the Clone Wars ever broke out. Nearly all the way through the Clone Wars, Eeth Koth was a Jedi Council member, being deemed an extremely powerful and noteworthy Jedi Master, someone extremely loyal to the Order. However, because we knew that he actually survived Order 66, Eeth Koth revealed a massive truth to us. That being that even before Order 66, Eeth Eeth Koth grew disillusioned with the Jedi Order, but would never get the chance to actually leave the Order as Order 66 was commenced before he had the chance to depart. However, Eeth Koth did become more untrusting of the Jedi Order, and even began to fall away from it, as was revealed to us during his interactions with Darth Vader several years after Order 66. The means in how Eeth Koth eventually survived Order 66 and escaped the Jedi Temple is unknown. What is known, though, is that Eeth Koth was actually removed from the Jedi Council before the end of Revenge of the Sith, and before the end of the Clone Wars for again seemingly unknown reason. However, although it's never outright said exactly why Eeth Koth was removed from the Jedi Council by the decision of Yoda and likely Mace Windu, we can speculate. It's revealed in the comic book that Eeth Koth has been feeling a pull to the dark side of the Force, and although now he works for a different religion as a priest and only conducts wedding and funerals, he still has something within him, something within him that the Jedi did not grant him. It's revealed that Eeth Koth was extremely bitter after being removed from the Jedi Council, but that the Jedi Council sensed something within him, that being fear and anger. In fact, after Order 66, Eeth Koth goes as far as to say that he's no longer even a Jedi, and holds true to no philosophies that the Jedi Order ingrained in him, something that's extremely rare as again, Eeth Koth wasn't simply just a normal Jedi Master or Jedi Knight he was a Jedi Council member, or a former one. This leads me to believe that Yoda saw something in Eeth Koth that worried him a great deal. The same thing that Darth Vader sensed within Eeth Koth during their duel. That being that he began to fall to the dark side of the Force, and embrace other emotions, with Darth Vader even stating that Eeth Koth had become more powerful by using these dark side emotions, and that despite being shamed by the Jedi Council by being removed by it, he would actually become more powerful than any of them in Darth Vader's opinion. I want to make it clear that by no means had Eeth Koth become a dark Jedi by this point. Eeth Koth had simply began to embrace the other darker emotions and darker aspects of the Force after Order 66, and unlike most Jedi, he actually somewhat embraced these dark emotions. In the comic book, Eeth Koth was even willing to give up the locations of other hiding Jedi in order to spare his life and the life of his family, drawing clear parallels between himself and Darth Vader. In Star Wars, it's not actually uncommon for someone to be removed from the Jedi Council as most typically, the roles of a Jedi Council member will rotate, and other Jedi with specific jobs and attributes will be given a seat on the Council while others are removed. But again, by the way Eeth Koth talks about it, it seems as if Yoda or others sense something dark within him, and therefore they made the decision to remove him from the Jedi Council, something Eeth Koth became extremely bitter about after the Jedi Order crumbled, even going as far as to say that after Order 6, he no longer considered himself a Jedi. Stay tuned on the channel tomorrow, as we'll discuss the conclusion of this story, and the conclusion of the confrontation between Eeth Koth and Darth Vader. But I want to hear your thoughts on this, and why Eeth Koth was actually removed from the Jedi Council before the end of the Clone War, and how he survived Order 66. As always, my friends, thank you guys so much for watching, may the Force be with you, and have a great day.